guys, guess what? <laughs> what really kicks off the ultimate holiday vibe? We know for sure. Get ready to relive the merriest moments from Central Perk as we count down the top Christmas episodes that'll jingle your bells and have you laughing all the way. Fine, I'll, I'll give the suit back. Hey, you think you can keep it another night? <laughs> so grab your cocoa and cozy up, because it's time to ho-ho have a blast with the best Christmas moments from our favorite friends. Merry Christmas! <laughs> The one with the holiday armadillo. This is the first holiday as a betrothed couple for Chandler and Monica. So Chandler's willing to make this night special, even trying to grease the palms of the restaurant staff for a table during a fancy dinner with Monica. So if you could get us a table a little quicker, I'd appreciate it. Of course, sir. Okay. How'd it go? Had the money in the wrong hand. Ross takes on the challenge of teaching his Christmas-loving son, Ben, about the Festival of Lights, turning it into a Hanukkah-themed story. When the stores run out of Santa suits, Ross opts for an armadillo outfit instead. I'm the Holiday Armadillo! <laughs> and hey, Matthew Perry absolutely slays the line. What are you doing here, weird turtle man? <laughs> it's this blended tradition that sets the Christmas mood. Merry Christmas! Ooh! And Happy Hanukkah! <laughs> the one where Rachel quits. Rachel's putting in the hours at Central Perk, but then Gunther delivers the news. She needs to go through training again because, well, her performance isn't top notch. Do you believe that? <sighs> Here comes Joey and Chandler, the supportive duo who encourage her to make a big decision. I just don't want to be 30 and still work here. Yeah, that'd be much worse than being 28 and still working here. <laughs> this is where Rachel's journey to her dream job kicks off. Meanwhile, Ross accidentally causes a Girl Scout to break her leg. Power, pop, precision, shoot, and panache. <laughs> To help her win a space camp trip, he becomes her partner in selling cookies door to door for her space camp trip. But bummer alert, their plan didn't quite work out. Still, the guys found a cool way to make sure the little girl had her own Christmas miracle. On another note, Joey lands a job selling Christmas trees, sparking some concern in Phoebe. She's all about the fate of those old trees and finds it pretty upsetting. Wait for it, the gang rallies together for a heartwarming gesture. Merry Christmas! <laughs> they collect the old Christmas trees and surprise Phoebe with a forest in Monica's apartment. Now, that's a touching Christmas surprise. The one with Phoebe's dad. Monica and Rachel plan this epic Christmas party. But things take an unexpected turn when Ross accidentally wrecks the radiator knob and suddenly it's a tropical themed Christmas. Hi, welcome to our tropical Christmas party. <laughs> you put your coats and sweaters and pants and shirts in the bedroom. Meanwhile, Phoebe's got a family bombshell dropped on her. Turns out her dad, the infamous tree surgeon in Burma, nope, he's a pharmacist chilling in upstate New York. Christmas comes around and she's all set to confront this MIA dad of hers. Joey and Chandler, being the supportive pals they are, tag along for the ride. But the trip takes way longer than expected. The guys didn't get a chance to hit the shops for gifts. Gas station to the rescue. Picture this. Soda, toilet seat protectors, and yeah, condoms. Not your usual stocking stuffers, right? Wiper blades. <laughs> I don't even have a car. Now, what makes this episode a total win? Nat King Cole's The Christmas Song sets the mood while Joey, Chandler, and Phoebe chat about her dad. It's that festive vibe that shoots the one with Phoebe's dad straight to the top of the list. Classic friends. Only they can turn a broken knob into a holiday fiesta. The one with the routine. Actually, this one is more of a New Year's Eve episode. So, you know Ross and Monica's dance routine in Friends? It's seriously unforgettable. Important thing to remember, 
Stay cool. Got it. Okay. These siblings bust out this over-the-top dance on Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve, thinking they'd get on camera. Little did they know, it was kind of cringeworthy. But hey, Courtney Cox and David Schwimmer, they're total pros at physical comedy, so they went all out. Even with the subplot involving the gang searching for Monica's hidden Christmas gifts and Chandler's thoughtful A to Z bookends, plus Monica rearranging the tree to hide Chandler, Joey, and Rachel's not so great decorating job, this episode will forever be remembered for the hilarious dance routine by Ross and Monica on the New Year's show.